be a quick video to plot the probability density function for a distribution with uncountable support in R using ggplot2. Step one, identify a distribution of interest inclusive of specific parameters you would like to make a plot of, and the support, let's call it capital S, for the distribution you're interested in. Determine the population mean, let's call it capital E, and variance, capital V, of the distribution dependent on the specific parameters you have chosen. Since our computers are inherently finite, and yet the support for this distribution is uncountably infinite, we will have to represent the support for the distribution as a finite vector with some reasonable bounds on a computer. To establish those reasonable bounds, I like to use the following expression, where I've tried to intersperse brackets, curly braces, and parentheses to help your eye pick out which expressions <laughs> are which in the following uh, formula. This formula I like to use is missing a curly brace I have now seen from all the videos I have created with this expression. That's fantastic. I'll give as an example that expression in R once we get to it. Once we have the bounds for the vector that will represent the support for the distribution of interest, we will put uh, the vector of representing the support into a data frame and the density function evaluated at each x in the support. Once we have this data frame, we can go ahead and make our ggplot plot. Since we'll be using the library ggplot2, we'll go ahead and load that first. I'm going to use as an example a normal distribution with mean equal to 3 and standard deviation equal to 1.4. So we should first establish a variable that holds the mean of the normal distribution we're interested in and a variable v that holds the variance We will then create the lower bound for our vector representing the support of the normal distribution. As the lower bound, we want the max of, now the minimum value of the support of a normal distribution is negative infinity. So we want the max of negative infinity or e minus four times the square root of v. And for the upper bound, we want the minimum of positive infinity is the maximum of the support for the normal distribution. We want the minimum of positive infinity or e plus 4 times the square root. Whoops, I messed up a parenthesis there. We can look at what the lower bound and upper bound of this distribution, of this vector, going to represent the support for this uncountably infinite support for the normal distribution. We'll create a sequence of values from lower bound to upper bound with a length, once we spell length right, out of let's say 501 points in this vector x. Now if we just look at the first few values of x, you can see that the vector x starts at negative 2.6 and moves up in equally spaced increments such that the length of the vector x is 501 as requested. We will store into a vector fx the density function of the normal distribution across the vector x with mean equal to e and standard deviation equal to the square root of v, or you could have just typed in 1.4.
We'll get that vector out. We'll put these two vectors into a data frame. And then make a plot from that data frame where we put x on the x-axis, fx on the y-axis, and here, because we now have a distribution with infinite support, instead of using geom point, we will use geom line to appropriately represent the smooth function that this density should take on. And there you have it, a normal distribution with mean 3 and standard deviation of 1.4 plotted in R using ggplot.